China keeps adding anti-access and area denial weapons to its arsenal, with an emphasis on anti-ship capabilities. The nation's arsenal of land-based, sea-based, and air-launched anti-ship ballistic missiles is rapidly expanding. This is in addition to the ever-improving anti-ship cruise missiles that can be fired from ever more powerful ground-based launchers, ships, and warplanes. China has been infuriated at the deployment of the USS Carl Vinson CSG in the South China Sea. 2024 marks the 45th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and the United States. However, at the beginning of the new year, the United States has come to cause trouble, jointly causing trouble with the Philippines in the South China Sea, and conducting joint military patrols in a combat-like manner, hoping to give China a decisive blow. In response to the United States' tactics, China has treated the US in its own way. Since the United States engages in joint military patrols in the South China Sea in the name of freedom of navigation, China can also patrol freely. After the new commander of the Chinese Navy, Admiral Hu Jiangming, took office, he took the initiative for the first time in the South China Sea and directly conducted a routine patrol of warships. Wherever the US and Philippine warships were, there were Chinese naval warships, which made the United States and the Philippines quite uncomfortable. Nuclear-powered aircraft carriers with large decks are the quintessential representation of the U.S. military might. In areas where the U.S. doesn't have territorial bases, the Navy's 11 supercarriers can project superior air power thanks to their limitless range and firepower. This is why the Chinese Navy has a new aircraft carrier target that resembles the U.S. Navy's newest and biggest supercarrier. The USS Gerald R. Ford. While the U.S. Navy has been far ahead in fielding supercarriers, the PLA Navy's carrier building capability is still in a nascent stage. Fuken, China's third and most technologically advanced aircraft carrier, is anticipated to begin sea trials this year. The warship is considered a leap for the PLA Navy to bridge the technological gap with the U.S. Navy. Fuken is a key warship in China's pursuit to challenge the U.S. Navy's dominance. Fuken aspires to rival its U.S. counterparts in terms of size and technology. The Fuken is much bigger than the previous Chinese aircraft carriers. As against the Liaoning 60,000 tons and the Shandong 66,000, the Fuken has a displacement of roughly 80,000 tons. It is much bigger than France's aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle 42,000 tons and the United Kingdom's HMS Queen Elizabeth 65,000 tons. It is smaller than the U.S. Navy's Ford-class carrier, which has a displacement of 100,000 tons. The only technological disadvantage it has in comparison to the U.S. and French carriers is that they are not nuclear-powered. Fukien is expected to play a key role in the PLA's anti-access and area denial strategy if the United States intervenes in a conflict over Taiwan. Even as China is still struggling to build a nuclear-powered carrier, it is putting in greater investment in building carrier killer missiles. Beijing recently fired verbal shots at the US from the shoulders of two Chinese maritime analysts, claiming the US Navy was no match for the anti-carrier warfare capabilities of the PLA. China has been infuriated at the deployment of the USS Carl Vinson CSG in the South China Sea. The carrier battle group consisted of five guided missile cruisers and destroyers including the Ticonderoga-class USS Princeton, Arleigh Burke-class destroyers USS Hoppers, USS Kidd, USS Sterrett, and USS William P. Lawrence. The CSG's presence in the SCS and the subsequent exercises was claimed to be part of the U.S. Navy's routine presence in the Indo-Pacific. Two Chinese experts raised questions on the survivability of U.S. aircraft carriers in the face of Chinese long-range missiles. China keeps adding anti-access and area denial weapons to its arsenal, with an emphasis on anti-ship capabilities. The nation's arsenal of land-based, sea-based, and air-launched anti-ship ballistic missiles is rapidly expanding. This is in addition to the ever-improving anti-ship cruise missiles that can be fired from ever more powerful ground-based launchers, ships, and warplanes. The PLA also plans to acquire hypersonic anti-ship cruise missiles in the future. The PLA Navy is building up the target aircraft carrier as the USS Gerald R. Ford is homebound after its first full deployment. 
The deployment period of the U.S. supercarrier was extended because of the Israel-Gaza conflict. The image of the new carrier target on the range in the Taklamakan Desert in China's Xinjiang province came to the fore when Planet Labs took satellite imagery of the region on January 1. The image clearly shows a full-scale, black silhouette, about 1,085 feet long, shaped like the USS Gerald R. Ford and future carriers in that class. Additionally, there's a building exactly where Ford's Island is, and four catapult tracks indicated on the deck, exactly where they're on the actual ship. The target profile also has the distinctive sponsons and other outcroppings, such as a wider, squared-off stern, that are present on the Ford. There are several masts positioned all over the new Ford target that serve as radar reflectors. Which, when coupled, may replicate the whole radar signature of the actual ship. Thus, a complete phantom carrier can be established in the desert without requiring any major construction. These features help hone the radar seekers for weapons and other senses and electronic warfare systems. An analysis of the past imagery indicates that the work on the target carrier began in November 2023. There is also at least one extremely big rail-based movable ship target located in the Taklamakan range complex. The Chinese military has been using rudimentary ship-shaped targets and concrete rectangles till some time back. The new Ford target is more advanced. It can give more accurate test results. The added touch of realism can also benefit the training. Obviously, with the competition between China and the United States and the geopolitical situation around China becoming increasingly complex, China is dealing with potential risks and threats. Whether it is the situation in the Taiwan Strait or the South China Sea, the United States has the possibility of military intervention. China's military simulations, especially simulated missile attacks, use the U.S. military as the imaginary enemy. According to the judgment of the U.S. military, this aircraft carrier target ship is specifically designed to simulate the precision strikes of Dongfeng 21D and Dongfeng 26 anti-ship ballistic missiles. Especially the simulation accuracy and strike effect. In other words, as long as the USS Ford aircraft carrier dares to interfere in China's internal affairs, Dongfeng missile will directly greet it.